This video will explain how to use Zen Connect. So Zen Connect is a feature of this software that allows you to um, have multiple images properly placed relative to each other based on the sample that they were all taken on. So um, typically this is something that you use uh, in conjunction with AI Sample Finder. Um, AI Sample Finder uh, provides you with an image of the entire sample and previews taken at 5x of other parts of the sample. But if you take subsequent images, it, it would be nice to have a way of anchoring them all relative to this because um, often it's, it's very informative to know that a particular image was taken in a particular place in a particular sample. So there's two ways of using Send Connect. One is to engage it before even using AI Sample Finder, and then it will add all the images automatically to this database that connects them. The other is once you have taken the images to add those images to a Zen Connect uh, database. So I will show you the second first. So um, kind of the post hoc approach where you've already taken the images and you just want to uh, see how they all relate to each other. And then I'll show you the, the version where you start AI Sample Finder with Zen Connect on. So uh, Zen Connect lives here. It's also a feature that's available in the Zen Lite version of the Zen Blue software. So uh, you can see those spatial relationships there. You open this and uh, what you need to do is create a project. Um, I'm going to put the project in MSL staff and I'm just gonna say, um, uh, connect post hoc. Okay. So that will create a project. And now, you know, this is an empty project. There's nothing in it. We need to start adding stuff. So the first thing we want to add are, um, you know, the, the image of the sample carrier as well as the 5x uh, previews. So to do that, we can right click here and say, save preview images that will create um, an image of the um, of the slide so i'm just going to call this slide an image of the 5x previews there's four one per well and in this case it created another image now the reason for this is because i had made a 20x map and then come here and embedded it into this larger Im image by doing uh, import preview image. Uh, but we can ignore that because this image is essentially the same as this uh, map that I made here. So we're going to ignore that one. Typically, you won't have that third one, so we don't need to worry about it. So what we want is to put you know, the preview images in Zen Connect, as well as some other images that I acquired, specifically uh, this Z stack that I acquired in confocal mode. Um, this confocal tile scan, I think this was a three by three that I took of a particular neuron. Uh, and finally, this 20x wide field uh, image that I used for mapping purposes to get a, a finer map than what was available with 5x. So I want to combine all these things so I can see how they relate to each other. The way to do that is we go to Zen Connect and go to the add image option. And I can just select those images that I want to add and that will place them all in the project. So now if I go to the project, we can see in the overall thing where I took the, um, the 20x uh, map, where I took the 20x confocal uh, tile scan, and where I took the 20x stack. I can do a few things in this interface. Uh, first, you'll see here that we don't see, for example, the uh, 5x maps. Uh, the reason is that the slide is in front of it. So you can see if I turn off the visibility of the slide, the maps are there, but you know it's obscuring the other one. So I can either turn it off or increase the opacity or just put the previews on top of them sort of first. And so that will it'll layer and you know whatever is in front takes precedence precedence there are a few other things you can do so if you select for example by clicking on the 20x z stack you'll see that now we have a z position slider so you can look at different um, z positions and if you don't like how this is displayed 
um, you can double click on this. That opens the image. You can adjust the display uh, characteristics. And then you'll see that um, those will be sort of inherited in this common view in Zen Connect. So um, there, aren't, there aren't a ton of things you can do, but some certainly that are useful. And then with another image, I'll show you um, how to use this alignment tool, which is, allows you to make sort of finer adjustments of one image to the other to make sure they absolutely match. Um, so the next thing I want to show you is how to use this uh, instead of with a bunch of images that you have already taken to start a project with this so that it automatically embeds everything into this Zen Connect database. Before I do that, I just want to show you how the data is saved. Um, I'm saving it in the MSL staff folder, and you can see that it created a folder called Connect Post Hoc Data. It put the data that I put into the Zen Connect database in there, and there are also these other two uh, Connect Post Hoc A5 lock and A5 uh, project file. So uh, if you want to sort of not mess this up, you have to keep um, this folder together with those two files. So as I was saying, let's let's shift gears and show. Uh, let me show you. Um, how you can use this when you are starting fresh from a new slide and you just want this to um, to incorporate all the images you take into this database. And so I'm just going to close uh, this Zen Connect. Um, I'm not going to save the changes. I don't care about that right now. Um, and I'm just 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 going to close everything. Actually, here we go. Okay, and I don't want to save anything. So this is more or less the state that you find the system in when you when you start. Um, so what I'll do now is create a new project, and I'm going to call this Connect from Start. Okay. So the project starts with nothing, uh, but now instead of loading images from things that uh, I have acquired already, I'm going to start acquiring images with AI Sample Finder and doing a few other things um, so that you can see how this might work. Note, importantly, that this little icon uh, is here. This means that auto save is enabled. So every time we take an image, it will be saved and put into that folder for Zen, Zen Connect. So I'm just going to run AI Sample Finder on, a, on, on another sample. Uh, I'm going to pause the video and I will restart it once that's complete so you can see how this gets uh, layered in and embedded. So I've just run AI Sample Finder uh, on this slide, which has four tissue sections on it. Um, and you can see Zen Connect is running because this autosave is on because there's this project window here and it al already added something to the project, which was the overview image. Now, annoyingly, even if you take these fluorescent previews, for some reason, I don't understand, it doesn't add them to Zen, the Zen Connect project. But you can do that by going back here, right-clicking, and saying, uh, Save Preview Images. And when you do that, you get this preview image, which we already have, and this one, which we want to add to the project, and for some reason, didn't get added automatically. So I'm going to save this. I'm just going to call it uh, slices Zen Connect, and then I'm going to go here and add um, these to the project. There we go. Okay, but with that, uh, you know, with with that sort of little bit of a cumbersome way of doing that, ev everything else actually is added automatically. So let's say I want to add a tile that I take in this region with the 20x objective with the 647. Um, so I'm going to switch to that 20x objective. I'm going to draw the region that I want to acquire. I'm going to verify the focus in that region. That looks OK. I'm going to say set Z. And then if I start the experiment, because autosave is on, two things are going to happen. This will be automatically saved, and it will be automatically saved to this connect from start folder. So that will show up in here. And then it will automatically be added uh, to this uh, Zen Connect project. So you can see here 
how it was added automatically. It's right there. And this will be true for everything I continue acquiring. Okay, so this is a way if you if you already know you want to use this um, by creating a Zen Connect database before you do AI Sample Finder Wizard, uh, with the exception of the sort of 5x um, previews, everything else uh, you can sort of layer it in and it's all connected in this database. And it doesn't mean that you need to necessarily look at it this way. You, you will have all the files in this folder, but if you do want to see where everything was in relation to everything else, you can very simply open it and you will have that information through the Zen Connect uh, database. The last thing I want to show you in Zen Connect is how to align images relative to each other. So if we zoom in here, uh, we have currently the confocal image taken with 20x overlaid on top of a 5x wide field image of the DAPI. So the confocal is 647 and the other one's DAPI. And if I take the confocal image, which is one called new, and in, um, reduce its opacity, so essentially increase its transparency, you can see that it's not quite aligned perfectly um, with the DAPI image. So if you do want to tweak it, uh, so that they are perfectly aligned and you can more easily compare things uh, taken at uh, different magnifications. There's a way of doing it, which is to use this align tool. So if I click here, uh, you'll now see that I am uh, realigning the new. So if I move this, you know, like there, it's obviously wrong. And I can just tweak it so that it says, good as I can get it. And you can see that it's actually uh, matches quite well. Um, so now if I say apply, it will reposition it so that now this is the new uh, alignment of images relative to each other. So if you care a lot about having this sort of nested view of things at different magnification and you want the alignment of them to be as precise as possible, uh, this align uh, tool is very useful for that purpose.